Hey everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Cooking Mondays with Mike. Yes, I finally got a chance to do another one. Well, today we are going to do something a little bit different. And, uh, well, I hope you guys are enjoying this, uh, this little thing I'm going to be making for you. And, uh, today we are making hamburger meat. And we're going to have that with sloppy joe manwich sauce that's right sloppy joe sauce we're having sloppy joe's so i have the uh hamburger meat all the oh yeah you notice i got myself a new pan that's right so uh i buy i went to target and got that all all done and it's uh let me see if i can read it it says uh far farver Farberware. So Farberware. So uh, obviously Farberware is a a nice product that uh, I like to uh, that we uh, like, that I decide to use. So and uh, this is a uh, Hunt's uh, Manwich Original Sloppy Joe sauce. And uh, and how about that? Cooking Mondays with Mike. It's a Manwich Monday. So how about that? And uh, this is for the Manwich Monday, easy as one, two, three. I got number one already in progress, which says, cook one pound, if I can get that focus, one pound of lean ground beef or three quarter pound of ground turkey and skillet to 165 degrees Fahrenheit and drain. And then we'll stir in the one can of manwich heat through and then serve on hamburger buns so we'll get that and uh yes in order for you to open this you gotta have a can opener so that's what we got let me get my trusty hamburger hamburger rolls which you can have any type of hamburger rolls you want i decided to have uh grissom mills uh, hamburger meat, so a uh, uh, hamburger meat that I said me. I meant hamburger uh, rolls. So, and uh, since I'm gonna have two, we're gonna have two of these. All right. Now, a lot of you have been asking, you know, you know, are you gonna still make? Are you making anything else besides burgers and all that? Well, yes, but this is not a burger. This is a sloppy Joe uh, thing. So, but anyway, uh, right now I'm going to check get the meat all nice and brown obviously i had to defrost it might be a little frozen in some of the pieces oh no nope. looks good so get that a quick uh, stir and yes some of this meat is still pink but it's all pretty much halfway done and then uh we'll start getting the sauce in but uh but i think i'm going to add a little something with this as well so but uh, I'll see you guys in a moment, and we're gonna add a little, little, uh, little love to this meat. And we are going. Plus, we're also going to add some onions. That's right. How about a little onion to your sloppy Joe uh, meat? So obviously, we're gonna put some of that in there to make it more flavorful. So all we need, while that meat's cooking, we're not gonna use a lot. But uh, I'm going to show you guys how to chop. I know you guys see me chop onions before. But here is what uh, chopping onions will look like. So, we are not going to use a lot. We're just going to use... About, nah. Yeah, about this much. And if it's not enough, then you can put a little bit more. All right, now, now get this. And then whatever onion pieces you don't want to use, well, just throw it out. We're going to add a little bit more, not too much. And make it much more flavorful. All right, let's get this piece of onion now, all done. Now let's uh, oh, 
any onions or anything on the floor goes into the garbage. No five second rule for this one. But anyway, alright, you got your onions all nice and chopped up. So we'll put that in there in a moment. First, let me get this hamburger meat all, all mixed up and more brown because some of it's still pink, so it's going to be a little bit, but it'll be very, very delicious. Then, then the next thing we'll do is once the hamburger meat is done, the chopped onions will go in next. In fact, get a little bit more of the chopping done. Kind of like that cooking show on foodnetwork.com called Chopped. So my mother, well obviously I don't watch it, but a lot of you probably watch it as well. So, But anyway, there we go. But now... Sorry, I'm off, off camera. I'm putting the onions, a little bit of the onion that's left over, and putting that in the fridge. So that way, it that way it doesn't make as much room. So, put that bread thing in there. Now, while it's while that's going, uh, you guys are going to see. Hopefully, I'm going to try to. Oh, I, oh, here we go. Holding the. Uh, my phone, my camera, my phone that has a camera in it, and showing you guys how to open a can. Sorry about that. Sometimes you gotta give this a little bit more, more of a try. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, Sloppy Joe is now all open. So we are going to go put this can opener thing to uh, can opener chef mate uh, can opener and we're going to put that in the uh, in the cover so that way that way it's out of, out of sight and that way I don't have to put it away while later later after I have to do what I got to do uh, off of camera so. But anyway, this hamburger meat is just about done, so I'm going to give this a couple more minutes. It's still pretty soft in some spots, so I'll give this a little, a little, little mix. And we're going to cover this up, so let the, let the meat get happy in there. And uh, while we're waiting, oh, I would recommend putting this in the microwave, the uh, hamburger rolls. Oh, but... So, but, um, but obviously, can't wait, obviously, right? So, but anyway, let me get the uh, rolls all done. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this in the entire video, but I'm going to do a two-parter, so I might even combine this into one big video. So, obviously, you guys will see what I'm, you'll see what I mean. But, um, but yes. So, I need a plate, first of all, to put my hamburger rolls from my Sloppy Joes on. Likely so. And then we're going to put our hamburger rolls in here. On top of the plate, that is. Now, you can use any kind of hamburger meat you want. Or hamburger uh, rolls. I keep saying hamburger meat. Hamburger rolls. So that way... Unless if you like to have like whole wheat or whole grain, well, obviously if you're trying to, you know, be healthy, well, that's all right. But anyway, we are going to put some mayo on our sloppy, on our sloppy, uh, sloppy Joe uh, hamburger rolls. Now you can't, now you don't have to have mayo on have mayo on sloppy joes but I like but I like mine with mayo because a little more flavor and actually it's kind of good but if you guys if you try this out try with mayo then you don't know what you're missing out well if you're well if you're not wanna if you're not putting it on your sloppy joes you don't know what your guys are missing for those of you that do well hey cheers to you guys you guys uh, obviously are very brave to try Mayo with onions. Mayo with the Sloppy Joe on it. But anyway. Put 
that in the sink for the moment. Let's get this uncovered. Oh, that's a little, I know, kind of burned myself a little bit, but I'm okay. But anyways, what I'm going to do now is, real quick, I'm going to uh, put this, uh, drain this uh, oil, this uh, grease out of there, and then I'm going to put the onions in next. So stick around, we'll be right back. Alright, now, the easy way to drain this is I don't have, oh, no, I don't have a comb. Oh yes, I do. But, I think I'm going to do this the, the difficult way, and we're going to have to put this in by, by a couple of spoonfuls of it. Oh, that's the wrong light. Let's just put that. Ah, here we go. So let's get our trusty spoon that we will also use for our Sloppy Joe to uh, do that as well. Let's get this. So that way, we'll, and that way we'll uh, put the meat somewhere. So that way it's perfectly safe and out of out of out of the area. So that way I don't have to uh, fuss around with it. Now a lot of this sloppy Joe meat is really, really. I mean, sloppy Joe's is very good, especially on a on a hot day or especially if you like to have sloppy joes like whenever you want like today we can have it for sloppy joe mondays so why not so obviously sloppy joe monday is also a good thing as well but now that this all is almost done we'll get this this all into a bit more pieces and then whatever is left over well we'll have to dump it into here and then uh, we will go from there. But anyways, let's get this hamburger meat out of the way for a minute. And carefully, without burning myself, give this a quick rinse. So that way, that way it won't be uh, as dirty. Now, obviously, I gotta do it on the other side of it. And there you go. Alright. Well, real quick, let me use... Hang on. Let me uh, clean this out, and we'll be right back. Alright. Now, we got the hamburger meat back into the pan. So, right now... I'm going to carefully, real quick, hang on, let me put you guys in an angle so that way you guys can see what I'm doing. Obviously that's not going to work, so I'm going to have to uh, carry it, So, but I'll be right back and I'll meet you guys at the stove. Alright, we are back. Now, we are ready for, to put the, back this on the, on the burner. Like so, not too high, just so that way, good. Now, we get to add some flavor to it, and that's onions. I get that there. All right, all right, the onions are in. I'll do these dishes after when I'm all done cooking. So, in the meantime, these get this all this awesome delicious meat and chopped up onions into the pan and then we're gonna let this cook for about another let this cook for about another five minutes so at least so another about seven minutes but anyway uh, right now uh, so when we come back we're gonna put the the sauce on, and then once we're done with that, then we'll be ready for our next uh, next step. So stick around. We'll be right back. And also make sure that uh, guys grab you something cold to drink, because obviously this will make you really hungry once you're ready to eat. All right, guys. Now 
We got this all covered up. Let's get the cheese slices and let's get that all situated and raring to go. And of course, we got cheese slices, so that'll go right on top of the meat once all nice and cooked. But anyway, so we're going to peel those cheese slices. Obviously, I have to do it in one hand. Sorry if I didn't get any of it on the on the uh, on this uh, little camera. Well, on my phone that I'm recording from. So, all right. There we go. Now let's do it for the second one, which will be more difficult. Now, depends on what kind of cheese you want. You can use yellow, white, mozzarella, parmesan, whatever kind of cheese you want. And uh, that way the cheese will, will be more, will, ha will add more flavor. All right, cheese slices are all ready. Let's get the Sloppy Joe sauce ready. Let's get my my little meat, my little Sloppy Joe stuff, uh, like the hamburger rolls, and we're gonna add a little ketchup to it, a little to add more flavor, and and of course, very delicious, and very also. And very and lots of protein for you guys, especially for this hamburger meat. But anyway, let's check our our food. Ooh, that smells very good. Oh, uh, if there was smell a vision on this video right now, oh, uh, you guys would be in up in heaven. There's just so many there's just so many flavors in this food. That's making it so good. And while that's all cooking up, alright, since you know what, this food looks pretty good, time to add, oh, time to add this awesome, delicious sauce. If there's little chunks of onions, don't worry about it. That's what, that's what's part of the food. This, I didn't realize, but this is all sliding, so I'm going to go and carefully stir this in, so we'll be right back. Sauce is all nice and mixed up, so we're going to let that warm up for a little bit. And uh, while we're waiting for the food, while we're waiting for the uh, mixture to be all nice and cooked, the hard, the bad thing about, about cooking is you got to do dishes. Obviously, you're, make, you're about to witness for the first time ever... Me, well, I'm not going to put soap on these because obviously we do have soap. We're already going to put soap in the dishwasher, so don't worry about that. It's going to get clean either way, so it's going to get soap anyway, so you don't have to waste like, like two minutes to scrub with regular dish soap. You can use soap for the uh, dishwasher, so. But anyway, let's go and check out our delicious food that we have. Which we have to carefully. There. All right. And this I didn't realize, but this does slide, so I have to be extremely, extremely careful. Alright, let's check on the food. Let's check out this awesome meat. Oh, mmm. Oh, mmm. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. But I wish you can smell this at home. Oh. Oh, so good. Alright, while this is all cooking up, you want to cook this, but not overcook it, but just so that way you get the meat, get the entire mixture of the sauce uh, thick enough so that way it'll be good. But anyway, why don't we put our cheese slices on, on the ketchup so that way... Then we'll just put the meat on. So that way we don't have to make lesser mess, less, less of a mess. Even though they're called Sloppy Joes. So. No, not like that, uh, 
not like a turkey joe from the uh from larry's lounge when uh larry lounge me uh started making this joke called uh uh joe making well let me tell you the story i was watching this uh let me get this i want to tell you guys that when i saw the uh uh the uh the larry's lounge's video uh turkey joe's he actually kind of thought that was kind of a a silly situ silly thing to say and i kind of started laughing too and then the bloopers uh kind of got me going but anyway uh right now we're just waiting on for the meat and then uh we'll be ready to start eating so but uh as well uh we also need a paper towel because obviously i'm gonna have to wipe my mouth with because it it's gonna be very very messy indeed and uh i got two to make sure and then uh, we'll be ready to go. But anyway, I'm going to get this all cooked up and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Guys, the meat looks really, really good. Now, let's do this and put the meat into, oh, into the bottom of the bun. Now, you want to do it not too much at a, just do a little bit at a time. But not too much so that, because obviously you got Obviously, it's going to be all sloppy. That's why they always call it Sloppy Joe's. So, there we go. Alright, let that cool off. And then we'll just put that on there. Ooh. Those Sloppy Joe's are happy. Now, to recommend this, I would prefer either eat it with a fork. If it's very messy, then... But otherwise, you're going to have to cook it either. But otherwise, you have to eat it with a fork or use it with your hands if you're brave enough. But anyway, that that pretty much takes care of that. And, uh, and uh, we'll see you at the dinner table. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be ready to eat. Alright guys, now, but the best part about cooking Sloppy Joe's is now you get to eat them. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. The onions is really good. I mean, the onions really make it more flavorful. And, and it's very, very delicious, obviously. That is very good. And as you can tell, it's sloppy. That's why they call it Sloppy Joe. So it's not, not going to be neat. So just so you guys uh, warn you. But if you do try this, try this out. I recommend it. It's very delicious. I mean, and the, ham and the hamburger rolls, actually, when you put it in the freezer, makes it more flavor. So it adds more. So it's really, really good. But... I definitely recommend trying this out and it's a quick and easy recipe all you need is a hamburger meat or ground lean ground beef or a ground turkey and uh, with sloppy joe sauce and if you want to add onions or a little uh, something to zing to the sauce hey hey it's your uh, you make it whatever you want it so whatever however you want it and uh, and share it with the whole family but but that's basically it all right, guys, I'm going to finish this off because it looks, looks really good. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram is on the uh, on my channel under the section about. Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you comment on the video. Tell me what you guys think. And make sure you don't forget to uh, uh, try out this recipe and uh, tell me what you guys think. And if you guys like this video, hey, I might do another video like this but probably with a different type of food but anyway guys love you all to death and don't forget make sure you go and subscribe to my pal uh larry's lounge this was an incredible uh an incredible couple of videos i uh video ideas for uh from his channel larry's lounge and uh make sure you so and make sure you give his uh little his nephew majugger nuggets uh subscribe uh uh, all the support and make sure you subscribe to Majugger Nuggets because he really needs the support after out with his injury out with his uh, surgery and now he's having a very very much needed recovery so get well soon Jesse but anyways love you all to death and do not forget to keep it chilling